Hi, Grade 7! For today, our topic is evaluating algebraic expressions and adding and subtracting polynomials. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 2, Module Number 4. This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credit to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, math lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know this module aims to provide various activities that will help you to learn how to evaluate an algebraic expression and perform the operation such as addition and subtraction of polynomials. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify the values of an algebraic expression for given values of the variable. Number two, apply gemdas in solving the value of an algebraic expression. Number three, Find the sum of two or more polynomials. And number four, perform subtraction of polynomials. What I know. Turn your module to pages one and two. Let's answer our pretest. Read and understand the given questions correctly. Write the letter of your answer on your answer sheet. What's in? Arranging the pushcarts. Working in a supermarket. One of the tasks is to arrange pushcarts properly. Answer each question below by performing the indicated operations on integers. Choose your answers from the pushcarts below and arrange the letter accordingly. For the first card, we have G3 E negative 27 a negative 18 t 16 and 36 v negative 30 u negative 16 l 60 i negative 64 and a negative 15 now here are the questions for number one we have negative 3 raised to the third power We have negative 27, letter E. For question number 2, we have negative 18 minus 12. We have negative 30, letter V. For question number 3, we have negative 24 plus 12 minus 6. Negative 18. That is letter A. Question number 4. Negative 15 multiplied by negative 4. We have 60. That is letter L. Question number 5. 48 divided by negative 3. Negative 16. That is letter U. Question number 6. 54 minus 69. Negative 15. And that is letter A. Question number 7. 10 plus negative 8 plus 14. The answer is 16. That is letter T. For question number 8, we have negative 2 raised to the 6th power. The answer is negative 64. That is letter I. 
For question number 9, we have 2 times 6 times 3. That is 36. Letter N. For our last question, number 10, negative 72 divided by negative 24. That is 3. Letter G. Now that we're done with our answers, what word would you form? Let's put the letters from numbers 1 to 10. Our answer for number 1 is E, negative 27. For number 2, we have V, negative 30. The answer for number 3 is A, negative 18. The answer for number 4 is L, 60. The answer for number 5 is U, negative 16. For number 6, we have A, negative 15. For number 7, T, 16. For number 8, we have I, negative 64. Number 9 is N, 36. And lastly, number 10, we have G, 3. The word that we formed is evaluating. What's new? It is indeed a great day. It is market day. Mother Maria and Aunt Martha went to the supermarket to buy chicken stuff and other needs for the family. Strict protocols were being implemented inside the grocery for the safety of everybody. Here are the price lists inside the supermarket. Chickens are sold at 155 pesos per kilogram. Pork are sold at 230 pesos per kilogram. Fish are sold at the price of 110 pesos per kilogram. Here is Aunt Maria. She bought 2 kilos of chicken, a kilo of fish, and other ingredients cost 95 pesos. How much did she spend? Now let's add them together. Now let's give the value of each chicken. Now the value for a fish, giving us the total of 515 pesos. Meanwhile, here is Mother Marta. Mother Marta bought 2 kilos of chicken and a kilo of pork chop. She also bought a kilo of fish and other ingredients that cost 150 pesos. How much did she spend? Now let's give the value of chicken, value for pork, and the value for fish. Now let's all add them together. We have a total of 770 pesos. Real-life scenarios like this represents evaluating algebraic expressions. Getting the total amount of what you spend in a grocery is like adding polynomials. Knowing how much of the money is left after payment resembles subtracting polynomials. What is it? Lesson number one. Evaluating algebraic expressions. In evaluating an algebraic expression, apply the substitution property of equality. This property states that if two quantities are equal, then one quantity may be replaced by the other. In symbol, if x is equal to y, then x may be replaced by y. Evaluating an algebraic expression is finding its numerical value. Steps in evaluating an algebraic expression Number 1. Replace the variable by the given value using substitution Number 2. Perform the indicated arithmetic following the order of operations using Jemdas rule What is Jemdas rule? Letter G Grouping symbols First, simplify expression with grouping symbols 
letter E. Exponents, then simplify powers. Letter M and letter D. Multiplication and division. Simplify products and quotients from left to right. A and S. Addition and subtraction. Lastly, simplify the sum and difference from left to right. Gem the rule. Let's have this example. Evaluate the polynomial 2m cubed minus 3m plus 4 when m is equal to 1. First, let's write the given. Next, let's substitute the value of m. m will become 1. For our first solution, simplify the exponent. We have 1 times 1 times 1. The product is still 1. Then, let's multiply. 2 times 1 and negative 3 times 1. We have 2 minus 3 plus 4. Now, let us subtract. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. For our last solution, let's add. The answer is 3. Now let's have example number 2. Using the same given, but now we have m is equal to negative 2. First, write the given. Second step, substitute the value of m. m is negative 2. First, let's perform the exponent. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. Now let's multiply. 2 times negative 8 and negative 3 times negative 2, giving us the product of negative 16 plus 6 plus 4. Now let's subtract. We have negative 10 plus 4. For the last step is to add. Our answer is negative 6. Example number 2. Find the value of 4x minus 6y over 3x plus y when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 0. First, let's have our given. Next is substitution. Substitute the value of x and the value of y. Now, let's multiply. 4 times 3, 6 times 0, and 3 times 3, giving us the product of 12 minus 0 over 9 plus 0. Now, let's subtract and add. We have 12 over 9. Then simplify our answer. We have 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third. Again, using the same given but different value for x and y. First, Let's write the given. Then, let's substitute the value of x and y. We have x, negative 2, and y, 4. Now, let's multiply. 4 times negative 2, negative 6 times 4, 3 times negative 2, giving us the product of negative 8 minus 24 over negative 6 plus 4. Now, let's subtract and add. We have negative 32 over negative 2. Let's simplify our answer. We have positive 16. Evaluating an algebraic expression may also be done horizontally. Let us try these examples. Example number 1, we have 2w squared when w is equal to 5. First, substitute the value of w. Next, perform the exponent. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then, multiply. 2 times 25 is 50. Our answer is 50. Example number 2. Trice the difference of 4w and 5 plus 9 when w is equal to 5. First, substitute the value of w. Now, perform the operations. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Then, subtract 20 minus 5. We have 15. 
Now, let's multiply 3 and 15. We have 45. And lastly, let's add 45 and 9. Our answer is 54. Now, let's have example number 3. 2W squared minus 7W plus 8. Again, W is equal to 5. Now, let's substitute the value of W. Then, let's perform the exponents. 5 times 5 is 25. Then, let's multiply 2 times 25 and 7 times 5. Now, let's subtract 50 and 35. Then, lastly, let's add. Our final answer is 23. Lesson number 2. Adding polynomials Inside the grocery store, mother bought 5 apples 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 3 oranges 1, 2, 3 and 7 avocados 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 When she arrived home, she found out that father also brought some fruits for the family Inside the grocery bag are four apples, one, two, three, four, and three oranges, one, two, three, and five avocados, one, two, three, four, five. To represent this using polynomial, let's use A for apple, R for orange, and V for avocado. Remember that any letter may be used to represent the fruits. Now, let's represent their fruits to polynomial. For mother, we have 5a plus 3r plus 7v. Now, let's represent the fruit of father. We have 4a plus 3r plus 5v. If all the fruits were placed in one basket, how many apples are there? How many oranges are there? And how many avocados are there? First, let's represent 5a plus 3r plus 7v. We have 5 apples, 3 oranges, and 7 avocados. Now, let's represent 4a plus 3r plus 5v. We have 4 apples, 3 oranges, and 5 avocados. Let's add all the fruits. We have 9 apples, 6 oranges, and 12 avocados. Writing this in polynomial, we have 9a plus 6r plus 12v. Adding polynomials may also be modeled using algebra tiles, like what we did in integers. Here is an example that involves negative numerical coefficient. One big square to represent x squared. We have shaded big square to represent negative x squared. We use small rectangle to represent x. Then we use shaded rectangle to represent negative x. We use a small square to represent 1 and shaded small square to represent negative 1. Now, let's consider the polynomials. 5x squared minus 4x plus 3 and negative 3x squared minus x minus 8. To represent 5x squared minus 4x plus 3, we have 5 big squares. To represent 5x squared, now we have 4 shaded rectangles to represent negative 4x. And we have 3 small square to represent 3. Now let's represent negative 3x squared minus x minus 8. To represent negative 3x squared, we will use 3 shaded big squares. For negative x, 1 shaded rectangle. And for negative 8, we have 8 shaded small squares. Now let's add the polynomials. Remember that positive term and negative term is equivalent to zero. So we will cancel out positive and negative. 
values. So we cancel out 3 on both terms. We have remaining 2 big squares. So we have 2 remaining big squares. For our rectangle, we have the same value. So we will add the rectangles. We have 5 shaded rectangles. For our constant term, we cancel out the positive and the negative terms. So we have 5 remaining small shaded squares. Our final answer is 2x squared minus 5x minus 5. Rules in addition of polynomials. Number 1. Align and combine similar terms. Number 2. Add the numerical coefficients using the rule in adding integers. And number 3. Copy the literal coefficient. Remember the following. Number 1. Like terms are two or more terms that contain the same variable and exponent. Number 2. The commutative property for addition, the order does not affect the sum. And the associated property of addition, the grouping does not affect the sum, are applicable in adding polynomials. Let's have example number 1. Find the sum of negative 6x minus 3 and 3x plus 9. First, align and combine similar terms. Add the numerical coefficient and copy the literal coefficient. Negative 3 plus 9 is positive 6. Negative 6x plus 3x is negative 3x. Our answer is negative 3x plus 6. Example number 2. 6x squared plus 9x minus 8 added by negative 4x plus 7. Align and combine similar terms. Add the numerical coefficient and copy the literal coefficient. Negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1. 9x plus negative 4 is 5x. And bring down 6x squared. Final answer is 6x squared plus 5x minus 1. Example number 3. 10ab minus 6a plus 7b plus 1. Added by negative 2a minus 9b minus 2. Added by 6ab minus 4a plus 11b. First is to align and combine similar terms. Make sure to align the terms to its similar term. Now, let's add the numerical coefficient and copy the literal coefficient. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. 5b plus negative 9b plus 11b is 7b. Negative 6a plus negative 2a plus negative 4a is negative 12a. 10ab plus 6ab is 16ab. Our final answer is 16ab minus 12a plus 7b minus 1. Example number 4. Negative 3y squared plus 7y minus 11 added by negative 3y plus 4 added by 10y squared plus 4y. Again, Align and combine similar terms. Make sure to align similar terms. Then, add the numerical coefficient and copy the literal coefficient. Negative 11 plus 4 is negative 7. 7y plus negative 3y plus 4y, positive 8y. Negative 3y squared plus 10y squared is 7y squared. Our final answer is 7y squared plus 8y minus 7. Sample number 5. 15m squared n minus 3m plus 8. Added by negative 7m squared n minus m minus 2. Make sure to align and combine similar terms. Then, add the numerical coefficient and copy the literal coefficient. 8 plus negative 2 is 6. Negative 3m plus negative m is negative 4m. 15m squared n plus negative 7m squared n is 8m squared n. Our final answer is 8m squared n minus 4m plus 6. Lesson number 3. Subtracting polynomials. Consider all the fruits in the basket. 
nine apples. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Six oranges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve avocados. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The eldest daughter ate an apple and gave one apple to her friend. The youngest daughter took four oranges and shared it with her playmates. Mother prepared the avocado shake and used five avocados. How many were left in the basket? We have seven apples, two oranges, and seven avocados. Using polynomials, this can be represented by subtraction. 9a plus 6r plus 12v minus 2a plus 4r plus 5v. Using the concept discussed in subtracting integers, it is the same as adding the opposite. This is our given example. Changing the sign of the subtrahend, giving us these terms. The minuend remains the same, but the subtrahend changes the sign. Now we have negative 2a minus 4r minus 5v. Then proceed in adding polynomials. 12v plus negative 5v is 7v. 6r plus negative 4r is 2r. 9a plus negative 2a is 7a. Final answer is 7a plus 2r plus 7v. Rules in subtracting of polynomials. To subtract a polynomial from another polynomial, simply add its opposite. Or first, copy the minuend. Number two, change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. And lastly, number three, group or align like terms, then proceed to addition. Remember, subtraction of polynomials is not commutative. Change in the order will give an opposite answer. Also, subtraction of polynomials is not associative. Changing the groupings will give a different answer. Sample number 1. a minus 7 subtracted by a plus 15. First, copy the minuend. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend. It will become negative a minus 15. Proceed to the rules in adding polynomials. Negative 7 plus negative 15 is negative 22. A plus negative A is equal to 0. So our final answer is negative 22. Example number 2. M cubed plus 2M squared subtracted by 5M minus 8. First, copy the minuend. Now, change the sign of the subtrahend. This becomes negative 5m plus 8. Now proceed to the rules in adding polynomials. Make sure to align similar terms. In adding polynomials, we only combine similar terms. In our given example, we have no similar terms. All we have to do is to bring down all the terms. So our final answer is m cubed plus 2m squared minus 5m plus 8. Example number 3. 5x squared minus x plus 7 subtracted by negative 8x squared minus 10x minus 5. First, copy the minuend. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend. This will become 8x squared plus 10x plus 5. Then, proceed to the rules in adding polynomials. 7 plus 5, we have 12. Negative x plus 10x, we have 9x. 5x squared plus 8x squared, we have 13x squared. Our final answer is 13x squared plus 9x plus 12. Example number 4. 15g cubed minus 6g plus 8 subtracted by 7g squared 
plus 12g minus 8 first copy the minuend. Then change the sign of the subtrahend. This will become negative 7g squared minus 12g plus 8. Then proceed to the rules in adding polynomials. 8 plus 8 we have 16. Negative 6g plus negative 12g is negative 18g. Now subtract negative 7g squared. And lastly, bring down 15g cubed. Our final answer is 15g cubed minus 7g squared minus 18g plus 16. Example number 5. 3y squared minus 5y plus 15 subtracted by negative 8y cubed plus 9y squared minus 10. First, copy the minuend. Then change the sign of the subtrahend. This will become 8y cubed minus 9y squared plus 10. Then proceed to the rules in adding polynomials. 15 plus 10 is 25. Bring down negative 5y. 3y squared plus negative 9y squared, we have negative 6y squared. Then bring down 8y cubed. Our final answer is 8y cubed minus 6y squared minus 5y plus 25. It's time for you to answer your module. Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number 1. Turn your module to page 10. Complete the table below by evaluating each expression with the given value of the variable. Copy the table and write your solution on your answer sheet. Independent assessment number 1. Turn your module to page 10. Copy the diagram on your answer sheet and write the value of each expression inside each square. Independent activity number 2. Turn your module to page 11. Checking all the grocery items in the pantry. Mother found out that there are enough supplies of these items for this week. Find the sum of each set of polynomials in every item and write it in your answer sheets. Independent assessment number 2. Turn your module to page 11. Solve each set of problem given below. Write your solution on your answer sheet. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to page 12. Write the difference of each set of polynomials. Write your solution on your answer sheet. Dependent assessment number 3. Turn your module to page 12. Solve the given problem. Write your solution on your answer sheet. What I have learned. Turn your module to page 13. Fill in the blanks with word or words to complete each statement. Write your answer on your answer sheet. What I can do Turn your module to pages 13 and 14. Study the given solution presented by the grade 7 students of Mrs. De Guzman. Spot the errors and explain in writing what must be done to do it correctly. Assessment Turn your module to pages 14 and 15. Let's answer the post-test. Read and answer the given questions correctly. Write the letter of your answer on your answer sheet. Additional activity Turn your module to page 15. Complete this puzzle. Fill in these rectangles with two polynomials such that their sum or difference as indicated is equal to the given polynomial attached to it. References It's time for you to answer your module. Thanks for watching. Bye!